Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will explain the difference between the verbs kennen and wissen. Although both kennen and wissen translate as to know in English, there is a slight difference in meaning between the verbs. Kennen means to know a person, and wissen means to know a fact. Kennen has a regular conjugation pattern with no stem vowel changes. Whereas wissen, as we have seen in an earlier presentation, has a stem vowel change in an unusual conjugation pattern in the first, second, and third person singular. Let's take a closer look now at how to use these two verbs. In the sentence you see on the screen, ich kenne Hans, I know Hans, the direct object of the verb is Hans. Since the direct object is a person, the verb kennen must be used. We can also use kennen with objects. In the sentence you see here, ich kenne die Stadt, I know the city, the direct object is not a person, although living in the city allows me to know it as if it were a person and I have developed a close relationship to it. Since the object has been personified in this manner, the verb kennen can be used. The verb wissen, however, can only be used with facts. The sentence on the screen illustrates this point. Ich weiß, dass Hans hier ist. I know that Hans is here. Although Hans is still the subject of the subordinate clause, additional information has been provided. It is this information, the fact that Hans is present, that is known. A good tip to know is that the verb wissen often launches a subordinate clause. As you see on the screen, a subordinate clause begins with a subordinating conjunction and is set off from the lead sentence by a comma. The verb always comes at the end of the clause. We will discuss subordinate clauses in a later presentation. Finally, wissen can also take a direct object. Here, a third person singular neuter personal pronoun. Ich weiß es. I know it. However, this can only be done if the fact to which this pronoun refers has already been established. For example, the fact that Hans is present, expressed in the subordinate clause in the first sentence, is referenced by the personal pronoun in the second sentence. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.